Yo, we're back. We are smurfing it up today on Tundra. And apparently playing Plants vs. Zombies at the time this video was recorded. I must have been just chilling, waiting for a game. But this is quite an exciting game. I hope you guys are doing well. Welcome back to the channel. Going to be quite a doozy here. Um, yeah, it's been a it's been a minute since we had a little gameplay commentary. Uh, we are at 10,000 subscribers. Thank you so much for helping me reach that threshold. Couldn't have done it without you, beautiful beauties out there. And yeah, I got an exciting game here, just like old times. Let's uh, let's get into it. So, brute versus Anders. I'm gonna go see which temple he's going, so I know what order I want to build my buildings. So, there's gonna be no temple coming up, so I'm going to delay my reactor, because I won't need to do any sort of offense. And I notice he's building turrets too, so... Gunner's not gonna help me out immediately, so I'm gonna be a little greedy and just try to delay that, get some more pads up, and start taking these crates. Wow, what a what a past few months it's been. We we broke through 10k. We've been doing the Halo campaign legendary series as well as Halo Wars on oscillating Saturdays. It's been, been a damn good time. Damn good time. Local units. Yeah, turn up life's been pretty good. Got some new faces out there, some new friends. Big shout outs to the channel supporters. Uh, the units. members, big shout out to Mountain Drew, Harambe, Mistakes Was Made, Mr. Piggy, Local units. Squirrel, the Ogre Shrek, and units. Prog Devoted. Local Prog units. will probably tell me my uh, mic was on mono or stereo. I still don't know how to Local fix units. that, so we're just going to roll with it. Probably Local hear like a units. clapping sound. That's Dante in the Local background. Units. He's trying to open a cupboard Local in my units. bathroom, but I'm all I'm wired in here, Local so units. I don't have the effort to stop him. Local units. Lose a warthog there. That sucks. Reactor's coming up fourth here. Reactor complete. Gonna get Gunner. Local units. I'm actually gonna queue a turret as well. Local units. Being Local a little scared units. right there. I was feeling a little scared, a little, little insecure units. about my safety at the base. Oh my gosh. Excuse me. I just had a piece of toast as well. Local units. Local units. So turret in the back there, not a bad idea. It's gonna protect that building that's coming up. Or the, the building that will be built. And he's going pretty heavy into eco from the looks of it. He's getting all of his warthogs up all of his warehouses upgraded, not warthogs. And I'm just trying to keep as many warthogs alive as possible. Felt like I did a decent job picking up money. Yeah, and the name of the game in a 1v1 is to just try to get as much warthogs as you can. Especially versus Covenant. They're very, very strong against Covenant. And also UNFC as well. You gotta, you just gotta build them no matter what. So I'm gonna go for a quick fortress here. Upgrade my pads while the fortress is upgrading. Start clearing these bases out. That's the big advantage of this map is the bases are on opposite sides of one another. And if he wants to come fight me or come try and stop me from taking one of these bases, well, the plan is to have the other one cleared out in the meantime. So we're going to clear them both out and just increase our chances of survival. Citadel's coming up here. Local units. Reactor complete. I'm gonna go in for Local air pad. Units. I really like air pad. 
local units. Airpad Hogs versus Covenant. I just local think it's units. got a lot of local nice units. benefits to it. So you force them into anti-air, which really is only a tech two option for them with vampires. I mean, I guess ghosts, you could do ghosts, but it's just, it's not going to, it's not really going to beat Brenner, Gunner Hogs or Brent Hogs. I've got a lot of very, very weak Warthogs, and he's actually kind of rolling up on me right now. Grenadier Local is units. in progress. I'm going to buy this base. Units. Air path complete. We're going to try to do a little Local defense. Units. Ooh, ooh, defense. Grenadier, research. Ooh. Local units. So army of weak hogs, air pad on the way up. Finally get all my buildings upgraded. Local units. Chopper's going to see where I'm at over here. Units. I'm gonna try and do a little little damage. Send these war send these hornets in. All units. See what we can come up with here. I don't really want to go in there and fight until I get all of these healed. But I want to do a little bit of damage to him. Because that's the that's the name of the game. You gotta put some pressure on. Local units. Got cross turrets up. I see he has a hall as well. Which that's not good. Halls are pretty deadly for brute. And he just kind of rolled right up on my base there. So big scouting failure on my behalf there. Ideally, you want to just kind of see where he's at. Don't let him get this close. And just start harassing him before he has the ability to just drop everything. This whole cloud closet of units that he has. So I'm going to debomb into this and try and try and cause some damage here. Absolutely fantastic debomb, as you can see. Didn't even get in there, but... There's hunters around as well, so not very uh, not very strong choice to counter the hunters with is these warthogs, but I'm gonna have to. Well, at least the hornets are kind of coming in handy. They're taking out taking out these guys unopposed. He's gonna walk right out of the D bomb. Better choice here would more than likely be to queue up some flamers and try and stop him from going full on infantry. So my army really can't fight that now because he's just got hunters dropping in on me. And I go to look at his base and he's building more turrets too. So I'm uh, kind of in a really bad position right now. Lost my D-bomb. All I have are Grin Hogs. And I'm starting to build a few more Hornets. I'm going to do my best to do a little damage to him. Kind of force him away from my base and let those turrets finish. Just distract him a bit. Now, thankfully, I did take that expansion pretty quickly, so my economy's not completely crippled. Yeah, I was looking through the the archives, the turnip archives of all the videos, and I saw this one was like an hour long. I was like, why? Is Wait a minute. Is that a 1v1, an hour long 1v1? You, you like never see that, especially for a um, like a UNSC versus versus Covenant matchup. It's just typically the games are over so quickly. 
But if you do stupid things like drop D-bombs when you shouldn't, then this is what will happen to you. So I'm picking up a barracks over there, and he's got lots of turrets on his base, which I could probably push into with these Grenadier Hogs. But he would just have hunters on defense too, so that would not be not be the best. All units. Supply pad complete. All units. Another thing you can do is take like one or two warthogs and just have it target the chieftain. All units. All units. And then just kinda harass him that way. So he's got he's got four turrets on his base there. I just I clicked on the turret slot with the with the flag glitch to, to confirm that. But he's taking out all my heavy pads. This brute ball is insane on my base here. I've let it got get way too way too out of control. I queue up Napalm Adherent. I'm kind of thinking to myself, what do I do? I I don't know what I, what I was thinking. This game, I want to say, it was played like last summer, summer of 2023. Well, you know, let me look at this here. Let's see. Properties. March 30th of 2023, so a little over a year ago. Kind of funny to see how you handle things in the past versus how you would handle things now. So I decide I'm going to just use these hogs to take over the center here and just, I guess, let my base die. I just, I wasn't feeling confident that I'd be able to, uh, able to really kill all of that. So I did take two of the two of the expansions as well. So we got that unlocked. And I do have napalm as well. I, I was able to queue that up before before I lost both of my reactors, which that's actually really nice. That's gonna be pretty helpful here. Thinking about where I want to target the mega turret, you always want to shoot in between the buildings. If you're shooting at a base, that way you get the most damage on on two buildings. But now he does know that I have the turret. More flamers are on the way. And I just keep on making hogs, which that's the beauty of hogs. You don't need any tech for warthogs, and they're really quick, really fast. Got a lot of brutes. That had to be like eight or ten brutes and hunter and hunters together. So he has shielded. You can hear that little shield whirring sound, like a whoosh sound. So I know my mega turret's not really going to be useful unless I try some, try something different. Chieftain's pretty weak over there. Kind of running my stuff away. Don't want to. Don't want to lose it. Gonna work my warthogs around the side here. Send my send my flamers straight through the middle. Gonna turn the mega turret around. I didn't even watch. I think I got a few of them. Yeah, I definitely got a few of them. He does have upgraded vortex as well, which that is just melting through all of my units. Chieftain did not even die either, so I'm mega boned right now. I've got two bases, no units, and I just lost the mega turret. 
I believe his chieftain is gone. I didn't. I don't see him anymore. I think it may have killed him. And I can start to just harass these, harass these troops here. I was thinking of the title for this video. I was thinking, after I skimmed through it a little bit, what would be the appropriate title? How to, how to throw a game 101? Okay, there's a chieftain right there. He's got medium turrets on his base, and there will be absolutely no chance in hell for me pushing this. It might actually even be large turrets. I, I couldn't see it. No, those are medium turrets. He's on tech two, medium turrets. I've got two bases, flamers and hogs, and he is throwing up a summit. But the good news is the shield is gone. He may think I'm doesn't need the shield anymore because he lost the turret. So, or I lost the turret rather. All units. Spirit Bond Hunters. Be doing lots of damage. Use these flashbangs here to... Oh, he shot the Mega Turret right at the Flamers there. I, I, that, I don't know if that was a misclick or what, but I don't think that would be worth it. Napalm flamers are actually coming in pretty clutch. He's actually starting to build some jackals now, so countering my shit with with other shit. It's just a big back and forth here. But I know you thought I might have forgot about this video sponsor, but <laughs> I could never do that. Today's sponsor is. Dihydrogen monoxide, the world's leader in All hydration. Join me as I All suck units. down the last of this this uh, monoxide bottle here. Ah, refreshing. Beam rifle and spirit bond. Pretty much counters everything I have. Also a fully healed chieftain, so that's not good. Best I can do is just try to stay away from him right now. Stack my units up. I'm gonna take this take this base back. He's got that little wall there. And yeah, we got triple, double barracks, lots of flamers, lots of hogs. Just shot the mega turret at the base, so it's going to take a pretty large chunk off of it. I'm going to push in right now while he is not able to defend the turret. Lots of beam rifle, which the Grenadier Hogs are actually, you know, really good against Jackal. So I'm I'm not too not too worried about them here. I'm gonna shoot the Mega Turret at the Hunters. See if I get some good damage. Oh, beautiful hit there! I think I killed three Hunters or so. That's just what I just what I needed. Trying to. Trying to soften these jackals up here, and I can move in the flamers. Station upgrade complete. Unfortunate, though, I won't be able to save this base, but I do have two more, so Enemy we'll just keep on bop the building our way around this map if we have to. All units. Don't even have a reactor. Don't need one. Break it up the party. Light them up. 
Okay, D bomb in here. Gonna try to hop on these jackals, but it's not looking good. Kinda lost all my flamers there. Yeah, those hunters are very strong still. Been underestimating the power of that chieftain sitting in a bunch of hunters and jackals. Just not working out for me. Still has a haul up. The. I think. Did I just click the summit and was that gone? I guess we'll find out here. I wasn't paying attention. Kind of looking at my, looking at my monitor here. Looking at my microphone. Gonna shoot the mega turret straight ahead there. Get some damage. Really nice if somebody, if you're trying to attack the mega turret, you want to come from behind it because, you know, obviously, if you take the mega turret from behind, it's got to swivel its gun all the way around. Oh my gosh! It's got to spin the gun all the way around to shoot at your stuff, and it gives you a bit of reaction time. But if you just come at it straight on, All units. you will, of course, feel the wrath. So I am units. continually just building bases and All units. basically just kind of running him around, making him have to walk everywhere. That's that's the benefit of my army is it's extremely fast, extremely nimble, whereas his is not. So he'd have to split up a lot of his units in order to do the damage he wants to do. And I was sent, I was pretty much put at a point where I have to kind of hide in the shadows, you know. Just be a little snake and worm my way around, living off the land, that sort of thing. Local units. Local units. The summit is gone. He did opt for a second haul. Local units. Moving out. Yes, sir. Throwing up tech three on this base here. Very, very risky. Reactor complete. Super duper risky. Goss is going to get researched. Units. And Local units. from the looks of it, I'm going to try to get oxide as well. That would be the best. Local units. Moving out. Local units. Or I'm sorry, did I say Goss? I meant to say Gas Hogs. That's the actual pronunciation for them. Local units. Local units. Now me being Anders, this is also very helpful because all of my upgrades are half off. So that's very nice in these trying times for my very, very poor economy. Gas cannon has been researched, and I'm just gonna buy a fourth base because it's why not, right? Let's all let's just keep buying them all. Let's buy the one next to his base next. Oxide tank research. Barracks complete. Oxide tank research. Gas hogs are coming up. Complete. All units. And I'm just chilling. I really need forces before I can do anything, especially against his his troops Fire which are ready. all hunters and all units. essentially just large turrets on his base so he's it's pretty well dug in there but yeah i really want to say thank you guys Moving for out. supporting the channel over all these years we have reached over five years of turnip we started the channel back in 2019 a little ragtag band of of nobodies and here we are now we're really living the dream living the dream i'm very very thankful for all the support the donations all you guys showing up for the the videos and the streams it's been quite a blast and uh i couldn't be more thankful so lots of jackals in the middle chieftain is is gone Chieftain is back at his base. I was going to try and do a little damage there, but 
He's got hunters sitting right with him, so he's defending that. Not too much I can do there. Get more oxide tank. I see banshees are starting to be built now. That's actually a very, very smart idea on his behalf. Mega turret takes a blast on my base there, drops that barracks down. I think that was my only barracks actually, so. Oh, I got another one. I'm, for some reason, I'm walking my flamers over there. I think I was afraid that he's gonna just push, walk everything up that, through that darkness there. Okay, here it comes. Uh, there we go. He's walking all the hunters straight through there. But I'm going to take the turret over. Yeah, while he's he's attacking that, I'm going to use this opportunity to take this back here. There's a chieftain, super weak chieftain. And lots of jackals by themselves. This is exactly the opportunity I was looking for. All units. All units. We're going. Standing. All units. Moving out. All units. Moving out. Got out of there just in the nick of time. Standing by. All units. But I gotta start thinking about those banshees now because that is going to be a problem here soon. We're going. on the ground. Station upgrade complete. Base under attack. All units. Moving out. Throwing up a field armory. By myself reserves or reinforcements. All units. All units. Seventeen flamers. That should be enough to take this turret over here. Gonna heal that up there. Oh, but he has a sneaky little banshee come in. Doesn't stop the heal though. I don't think he noticed. Flashbang those guys there. Gonna hit all of these jackals best I can. All units. And once the jackals are gone, you can start to worry about the rest of the infantry there. Complete. Chieftain's still very, very strong. He's got a full health, upgraded Vortex. He's got a few engineers in the mix there. He's also been on a second base. I'm gonna get adrenaline so the flamers can move a little, a little more quickly. All units. And not an upgraded pad in sight. I guess I was kind of just going off of the whole quantity versus quality thing this game. Getting a fortress on my repurchased main base. I'm on a quadruple pump of Goss Hogs as well. Adrenaline research. Looking for tech. Oh, there we go. Now we upgraded some pads. I was looking for tech three there. Standing by. All units. Moving out. Standing by. All units. All units. All units. All units. 
The Banshees are boosting around now, looking for trouble. All units. Those are repeating cannon All Banshees. Units. You can see, you can tell by the. There's a number on the shield of a unit, and if you press on it, it will tell you. If it's a number two, that means it's on its second upgrade, which would be repeating cannon. But that also works for stars as well. So if a unit has a star, that also counts as a number on the shield shield icon. That looks to be undefended there. I'm gonna walk in those napal or those oxide flamers. All units. Try and take that back. Comes the infantry attack. Enemy engagement. Let's ice Cryo bomb coming in. Field armory complete. I'm gonna target the chieftain here. Cryo bomb and D bomb. I really did not want this chief to live. Base under attack. And he still, he still gets away. He still gets away. That little sneaky devil. Cryo bomb and a D bomb was not enough to stop him. Damn, turn turn up a year ago was actually ass. That 1v1. And now we've got a shite ton of Banshees coming in. So this game just keeps going back and forth. Megatur is back in our possession. I'm going to damage his, his economy a little bit. Fire that turret right between those two heavy pads. Supply pad complete. Base under attack. All units. Yeah, those turrets are gonna really prevent me from doing any sort of offense with with those flamers. And he's just boosting around to my bases and really abusing the fact that my hogs, although they are fast, they're, they're not as fast as banshees. So you just need to do a little damage and keep moving and moving. Oh, I need a different answer. Sent these flamers in for whatever reason to just really kill that chieftain. Base under attack. Moving out. Supply pad complete. All units. Send them right in between both bases and those turrets there. All units. We're going. Moving out. All units. So I really need to find an answer to these Banshees here. Both of those bases are shielded, so I can't really use the Mega Turret. I really don't want this to die, so I'm going to just do my best to hold on here. I'm going to split some of those off. Got a lot of money in the bank right now. Looks like he's going full on banshee mode. Standing by. All units. I did kill quite a few there, so that that bought me a bit of breathing room. ready to roll. Supply pad complete. I'm gonna go into vehicle depot now. Base under attack. Got myself pretty well established. I feel like I can, I can manage it. All units. Banshee's still causing All havoc units. over there. Both of those halls are gone. Reactor complete. Vehicle depot complete. 
Braden All canister units. shell. Enemy engagement. Standing by. Tired in my reactor is actually pretty smart. The priorities here. Be able to mop up all of these. Moving out. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All units. Moving out. Yeah, even even though that I can't kill anything with the mega turret, I still should probably just shoot it at like his Local turrets units. or something to, I guess, make him Local waste units. money on something else. How how little that may affect things, but Local still. I guess it's better than it All doing units. nothing. Local units. Base under attack. Base under attack. Local units. So full fledged banshees, repeating cannon. Local units. All units. I'd send a warthog through there to just see if there was any troops I could target with the turret. Base under attack. But he's on full fledged. All units. Full fledged All banshees. Units. Reactor complete. All units. By. All units. I'm gonna send the flamers up that way. Heal this base up here. All units. You know, I, I think the the mindset I had was, you know, I've got hogs. I should be able to fight the banshees pretty well. So that's that's kind of why I wasn't making any wolverines, All units. and I was focusing All more units. on the tanks. So we're going to push from behind with the flamers here. Barracks complete. Enemy engagement. All units. Get some Spartans out. We're going. Power turret research. All units. And the only real way I'm going to be able to crack through those base defenses he's got is going to be with something really strong like tanks. He's got shields, he's got medium turrets, all I have is Gauss. Unless I run behind one of the bases and try to stay out of range. Might pull pop as well. Got some vampires for some reason? That probably was a misclick. Still trying to build Wolverines with a full full population. So. We've been holding the line this whole game. Vehicle depot complete. And our full first Wolverines are going to be coming out finally. All units. Send a few Warhawks. Kill that. Throw up the turrets. On the ground. Local units. I'm sacking these All units. oxide flamers just to free up some more space. All units. I'm gonna birthright that. That's not. That's not good. All units. All units. Volley. research. Smack's another one that's awful for me. All units. Recall out of there, and he's just going to fly right across to the other side. I think I have PT. And there we go. I'm starting to finally use the mega turret and destroy some of his turrets just to, to make him buy some more. They can buy something for the all units. Supply pad. Just Wait. waiting for one of those to die. Start making them. All units. Moving out. All units. Moving out. All units. Moving 
Yeah. Gonna boost away. Very strong strategy. It's hard to hard to deal with it as UNSC. You just have to try to not let him get to that point. Base under attack. All units. He's able to one tap. One tap my buildings essentially. Cryo bomb also does nice, dude. Because he he's unable to flee. All units. Base under attack. Healing targets. Yes, sir. All units. But in the end, we are on four bases to two, so that's helping us out. I think I'm trying to get Tech 4 somewhere. All units. All units. All units. All units. Enemy engagement. Gonna be going for Spartans from the looks of it. I'm gonna keep my Wolverines right there. So they can easily bounce between all of those bases. Yes, sir. All units. Wolverine, ready. Ready. Moving out. All units. Moving out. Banshees are hiding in the corner there. Spartan on deck. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All units. Fly back in. Enemy engagement. All units. Local units. A ride. Let's start start making some Spartan holds here. We're two. Hopping on. We're two. Moving out. We're two. Moving out. Moving out. Moving out. We're two. Moving out. Moving out. Moving out. Moving out. Moving out. Local units. I've got them split now, so base under attack. Moving out. Thankfully it's not gonna be as easy for him to just fly all over the place ready ready moving out base under attack local units local units moving out local units tech four on the way up again local units local units all units all units and i'm really just at this point starting to bleed him dry where he's just spending so much into constant offense, constant aggression, that he's just not a, he just not really able to get those tech three upgrades from the looks of it. All units. All units. Does have a lot of stuff though, so Mega Turrets online. I'm just gonna try and hit that chieftain. Get him half health with that mega turret, so that's good. All units. All units. All units. Got a lot of money too. I should definitely get a field armory up. All units. All units. Thinking to myself, let's let's do this. Let's push in now that we've got some stuff here. He's got hunters on my expo there, but I've got four bases to his two, so I'm alright with losing that one. I'm gonna kill that chieftain. That base is going down. So he's actually splitting his stuff up a little better than I was thinking. All units. All units. The base has been destroyed. Hunters are actually coming All home. Units. And his banshees did take that base out, so. All units. I'm gonna have to think of something different here. I'm gonna mega turret this down and just try to kill it. 
Should be able to kill it, yeah. Those hogs will, will mop up the rest of it. But I need to send these home. I can't build any more wolves after this. We're really just trading blows back and forth this whole game. I don't have any tech to build to build any more wolves. But I do have dual launchers, so I just gotta make sure that these survive. All units. Moving out. Base under attack. Supply pack. Healing target. All units. Ready. Supply pack complete. All units. Where to? Vehicle depot complete. I grab a Spartan tank. All units. Ready. Where to? Got those. Got those three dual launcher wolves, and if I can make those work, that'll be that'll be nice. All units. Difficult army to stop here. Spear bond and bunch of banshees. It really counters all of my all of my stuff. He's taking down all of my tech as well. So we're quickly going to be falling back to a two base situation. Two bases to one. I'm going to have to build a few flamers here. Has been destroyed. Reactor complete. All units. So this shit's quickly, quickly getting out of control for me as well. So I'm gonna really have to be careful. He just birthrated one of my three Wolverines. So now I'm only down to two. I'm gonna have to resort to hogs and flamers to try and hold on here. I'm sending all the flamers to. To attack him there, I'm gonna cryo. All units. All units. All units. But you gotta remember too that I oh, I did take out his base as well, so unless he rebought it, he's not gonna be on as good of an economy as he once was. I just gotta take this chieftain out and Hopefully stop the flow of new units. Local units. Local units. All units. Local units. I do have that one Spartan tank I forgot about. All units. Get these Wolverines into the fight. Barracks complete. Lamers are coming out again. I can't seem to move that Wolverine around where I want him to go. Chieftain did... did he die? I can't tell. He's somewhere in there. Okay, I finally take that chieftain out. Gonna stop the flow of units here. I also forgot I still have the mega turret, so... I got a little caught up in the heat of the moment there. Buy that base back. And thank, thank God he did not get himself a salt beam. 
or Supreme Gauntlet. So if he did buy that base back again, I heard the heard the shield sound. Jackals are coming back out on the field. I'm very confident that that Wolverine actually got some decent veterancy on him. Got some Spartan tanks as well. That's really what's going to win me this game is those Spartan tanks. And look at that. He just, he just pretty much just stepped right in front of that turret again, so I was able to get some good damage. Just birthrighted my birthrighted my flamer, so I didn't have to be afraid about that tank walking in there. Vehicle depot coming up again. I'm gonna get my base mega turreted. But thankfully, it was only all units. Only unupgraded pads. I wonder if that's why I was thinking about not upgrading all of my pads, just because they were so prone to being mega turreted. But I guess that doesn't make sense because they'd have more health. So who knows? Supply pad complete. All units. He's gonna say I have this base again, but he just mega turreted. All units. My building, so he's not going to be able to shoot that again. Enemy engagement. All units. Oh. He was walking. He birthrighted me, but he just missed getting that locked down. I was able to. I was getting ready to pelican out, pelican that tank out of there. That was close. So, Chieftain, I'm, I'm able to kill much easier with these tanks. And yeah, now I just... The name of the game is just stacking these tanks up here, and I, I should be able to make an effective push. Finally, right? It only took me it took me a little while. Lots of beam rifle jackals, so that's not really going to be working for much longer. I was also able to keep those two wolverines alive, which is really going to come in clutch, or came in clutch rather. Mega turreted those buildings again. Doesn't really matter. Send us in. All units. It would hurt me a lot more if I was on one base, but I've just been like all units. It's free real estate. That's been my motto this game. I see that open base slot. It's free real estate. All units. On the way. On the way. Supply pad complete. We're going. Base under attack. Send us in. I'm going to poke through a little bit and see what's out there. Where to? Where to? Where to? Start canister shelling Where to? these Where to? I see infantry Where to? out here. On the way. Where to? Where to? Where to? Where to? On the way. Jackals are going to be easy pickings for me Where now. To? Units. On the way. Local units. 
On the way. Local units. On the way. Local units. I see it. Local units. On the way. All units. We're going. We're two. Enemy engagement. Big Local units. canister shell there. We're two. Lot of damage. Oxide flamers putting in work. Under attack. Lots of damage on that shield. All units. Did make a few banshees though. I'm making a few turrets as well. Making another All barracks units. too. Throwing up a few more vehicle depots and some different turrets as well. Gonna clear that out. Canister that chieftain. I have absolutely an insane amount of money right now. You never really want to have a bank this big. There's no reason to. I could be spending my money on upgrades, field armory. Like, I still haven't bought a field armory, which I'm kind of upset at myself. But there we go. Money's all been spent. All units. Starting to upgrade a few more pads. Base under attack. Where to? All units. We're going. On the way. Got those tanks nice and healed up. We're gonna push back out again. Supply pad upgrade. Standing by. All units. We're going. All units. Ready. I'm trying to heal that chieftain, but I'll be able to mop these up with these oxide tanks. Not going to canny glitch him. Not going to be that guy. Although I could have. Field armory complete. Reinforcements on the way. Standing by. Send us in. All units. Supply pad. Complete. There's a great debate. What's better? Reinforcements or reserves? Reinforcements. I love reinforcements a little more than I do reserves. I just feel like more units is better. But I definitely understand the argument that getting reserves you're you're never going to really be at max population the whole game so having your units come back in the fight faster would be more beneficial turret complete where to reinforcements researched moving out local units local units but attack from a different Local angle units. this time instead of going through All that units. that going. kill zone that little murder path there I've been going through the most Standing by. past few times and I'm going to drop the turret on his base here pad weaken out. it Local get all my units. stuff close up here and I am actually going to be that guy I guess Local I can't English your shield Oopsie daisies. Base under attack. We're going to be dropping this base here. And yeah, that's going to be huge W for Team Turnip. We somehow clawed our way back from the brinks of hell. Probably the most undeserved victory because of all of the flops and floods I made in this game. But definitely entertaining as hell, that's for sure. Enemy engagement. Ready. Where to? Where to? I would say the Brute needed to get a little more upgrades. Him having those bases. Should have gone for Tech 3. I thought I saved that. Guess not. He just has a magic hammer. You are 
Victoria. And GG to Mr. Vector. What a great game. I want to thank you guys again for watching. And uh, yeah, stick around for some more content coming out soon. And we'll see you at a stream. Thanks again. I'm your boy, Turnip. Peace. Also, a quick shout out to all of our members.